That's two games on the trot that you've uh, been starting 11 and of course last Saturday there was a huge tier and you came on uh, as a sub. Have you been just getting into into form so that you sort of deserve your place or is the gaffer just sort of mixing it around to try and get yeah. through the playoffs? I think the gaffer just, after last week he, he thinks that things need to freshen up. Um, he's changed shape a wee bit so it obviously suited me better playing in the shape that he's he'd been playing the past two games. So. Um, Oh, I've had to be patient, but um, just ready to do a job whenever called upon. And you certainly did that job uh, well today. Uh, you seem to be, you seem to be the kind influence on the whole of the squad. Is that your personality? Uh, you, you should come in. Unfortunately, I'm one of the older ones now, so um, uh, we have got quite a young squad. Um, so I, sometimes I do need somebody just to talk them through the game or just give them the odd bit of advice here and there, which. Uh, I try to do it, it's maybe not always the right advice and I can be a bit of a mourner, but um, that's just the way I am unfortunately and it's, uh, it, seems to, it seems to work with some of the younger boys, it seems to, to G them up a wee bit, so um, no, it's good, good to get a result after that. How did you find that, I mean obviously you suited, uh, suited the shape that you played, how do you think the whole squad, uh, did they enjoy that new formation? Or? Uh, I, you can see we're getting used to it, I mean the second half um, the other, on uh, Wednesday night, um, I thought we were a different class, uh, could, could quite easily nick the game at the end and then we've taken that into the first half today and I was, like I say three and a half but again could have been four or five um, and we knew Annie were going to, they're not going to go out of the playoffs without a fight so the only disappointing thing was we gave them a goal so early in the second half um, with a penalty um, so that kind of invited them onto us and they were just kind of launching balls into the box were quite deep so it's, it's hard to kind of stop at the source so we then just had to fight for every second ball and what have you. And, when we did break in the second half, I thought we did look dangerous again, so um, it was a different game in the second half, but I thought the boys eventually stood up to it quite well. So what is it that uh, the team need to get through the next two games against Peterhead? Is it, uh, is it just encouragement or motivation? Or Definitely, how would you yeah, say? as much support as we can get would be a start, but um, we're going to have to be in the top of the game because we've played Peterhead last year, we've played them in the, the cup at the start of this year, I think it was, and Peterhead are a very good side. Um, they, I know sometimes people say the league table doesn't lie, but Peterhead are, are better than where they finished in that league. Um, they've got players that can win a game on their own, like say, um, Rory McAllister, um, these kind of guys, you know, they can they can score goals out of nine, so we're going to have to be on our metal. Um, but again, if we perform like we did in the first half, they get it down and play the way we can, create as chances as we can, then um, I don't see why we can't go on and, and win the playoffs. That's the aim, anyway. And you mentioned Rory McAllister, who is one of their standout players, definitely for Peterhead. If, uh, the gaffer was to stay in the same sort of formation. Would it be likely it be your job to man mark him for the whole ninety minutes? Uh, not necessarily. No, um, it would be my my job to try and stop them getting the balls into him, into his feet, and what have you, because he's a big, strong, uh, dangerous lad. 
But um, no, no, that's not necessarily my job. My job's trying to start attacks for us rather than worrying about the other team. But um, I don't get me wrong, I have to do that now and again as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, how. We'll put the big question to you. How do you think we will do with the next two legs? Well, like I say, I don't see why we can't go on and win them. I mean, the players we've got in that dressing room, the majority of them are, in my opinion, League One players. Um, so there's no reason why we can't go on and, and beat together. But like I say, it's, it's going to be tough because they're a very good side. So um, we're going to have to be on our game um, to make sure we snuff them out. But you never know over the two games. It's, it's up to us to manage the two games and hopefully win the playoffs. And I suppose winning the playoffs would be a nice round off to your uh, testimonial year. Uh, I definitely, yeah, would be I. I was hoping to obviously get a league medal, but that wasn't to be, so now we've got another chance to get from what's why. That's, that's the aim to finish it off on a, on a high, definitely. Well, th uh, thanks for your time, Martin, and also uh, hope you enjoyed your 10th year here at the club. No bother, Magic. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for joining me, um, Gavin, today. It uh, was a tremendous performance from the team. How, <laughs> how do you um, rate the team today? Uh, I thought first half we were, we were really good, and then obviously we're coming at half time, and yeah, well, a three goal lead. You expect to, but we maybe lacked off a bit and the start of the second half and then nick a goal and then kind of maybe go a bit shaky in that. But overall, the performance, uh, I thought the boys were brilliant. And uh, you got yourself, you got yourself a brace today, so, um, and you very nearly got a hat trick. Yeah, <laughs> I, probably, I probably should have had a hat trick, but no, the, the two goals will that'll be on. How how do you how's the atmosphere of the team? You know, because we now know that we're going to be having to face the Ninth place of League One, Peter Head next week. Are they nervous or excited to get? No, the I think it's uh, it's excitement, especially the playoffs and that. We obviously the the start like midway through the season and that we didn't know what to be in here, but we are now. So the the only thing we can do now is go win it, and so the boys are the boys are excited. So we'll take it into Wednesday, see what we can do there, and then obviously the next Saturday. Um, we'll be ask, ask you the big question: How do you think we will fare against Peter Head over the two legs? Over the two legs, I think uh, I think we could obviously beat them. If I didn't think that, then it would be right. Uh, but no, definitely the, the team we've got out there. I think we could definitely beat them over the two legs. Well, thanks for your time, Gavin, and uh, once again, well done on your performance today. No bother. Thank you. <laughs>